finally, we get to see the undisputed lightweight fight between George Kaposi and Devin Haney. I really did think that this fight would take place personally. After the, how negotiations were going and how they were back and forth on Twitter, I personally believe that George Kaposi was going to fight either Lomachenko or absolutely nobody, as in nobody of note. But I'm grateful that this fight is taking place June the 5th, Australia in George Kaposi's home country. And also, they've signed a rematch clause agreement. So, the rematch clause is even going to take place in Australia as well. So, Australia will be looking forward to two big fights against, well, for, for George Kaposa versus David Haley. After this fight, provided if David Haley wins, I don't know whether he, if he loses, this is the same circumstance. But if he wins, he will side, or he is part of a multi fight agreement between himself top rag you know bob arum and espn at first i was like nah, you can't do that man look what they did to terrence crawford i don't think that they would be great at promoting devin haney however I, ha I had a couple of days to think about it i sat down i said what benefit would he have to sign in with top rank espn etc hear me out even though he's earning less money at the you know at the at the forefront he after he beats George Cabosis because I think he will beat George Cabosis personally I think he's going to beat George Cabosis on points but if he beats George Cabosis twice in Australia potential fighters that he would have at his roster is the likes of a Teofimo Lopez the likes of a Vasily Lomachenko even if he goes up to 140 he's a you know he could be fighting Jose Ramirez which bearing in mind I think he's about to fight for or, or he has been put into place for a mandatory slot for one of the potential vacant titles when Josh Taylor moves up to 147 so they could be a title fight on the line between you know David Haney and Joseph Rivers in the near distance future provided that he beats you know a series of opponents in between I know the money's an issue in the beginning the money that he's getting for the George Cabosa's fight and probably the money he'll get from, the up, from those fights that I've mentioned isn't going to be great on the top rank. Look, I, I, I personally, I'm sympathetic to Devin Haney on that front. However, I think that this is this will put him in great foundations for the next 10 years of boxing. Devin Haney's a young fighter. If he goes through like a couple of years of getting underpaid and undercut, I, I think that that would be sort of like an investment in his future because in the, in the after that, if he beats those names, if he beats Lomachenko, if he beats Teofimo Lopez, if he beats George Cabosas, you know, it, it, not in reverse order, shall we say, and Jose Ramirez, the money would flow. If he loses, I don't know what he's got to do. He's stuck in a... <laughs> I totally said it before you... He's described as a slave contract. Now, I wouldn't go with that to, to go as far as that, but you guys get the gist. But overall, I think that with regards to this fight, particularly against George Cabosis, I think that David Haley would win comfortably. Oh my goodness. I think David Haley would score George Cabosis. Stylistically, George Cabosis and Tiffy will represent. The reason why George Cabosis was able to win that fight was through Tiffy will Lopez's poor preparation and poor mindset i think if teofimo lopez came in with the right mindset the right game plan and the right execution i think he would have he would have smoked george cabosa the hell out of it i don't think george cabosa's talent wise is top five lightweight i know it's harsh but i don't think talent wise is top five lightweight personally i even think right garcia is better than george cabosa's however George Cabosis is currently unified lightweight champion of the world. So he is the man to be. But I think David Haney will get the job done comfortably on points though. Because I don't think I can see a world of David Haney knocking out George Cabosis in Australia. So I think it will just be a comfortable majority post decision to David Haney. Let me know who you guys think will win in the comment section below. Love to hear what you guys are saying. Peace, love, prosperity. I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.